Greetings, humans. I'm in my garage today, so pardon the ugly backdrop, but I got these amazing 3D printed horns from a local 3D printer, and I'm super excited to start sanding and painting these up and make some custom tiefling or dragon horns. So I actually, um, drew up a design for them to work from. So this shape and size of horn is exactly what I wanted. And I'm really excited to see how they look. Got a little bit of sort of devil horn look going on, but laying back nicely against the side of the head, not sticking up too much, which is my favorite way to do dragon or tiefling horns, is having them sort of smooth in against the head, not sticking out in ridiculous directions that would just make them super unwieldy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started sanding and painting these. This is just kind of the uh, demo uh, version of the horns. I haven't tested how they fit on the headbands or how they look yet. So I just have a couple pairs here and I'm just gonna do some really simple paint jobs on them, just kind of as a trial run, take them to an event tomorrow and see if they sell. And if they get a lot of interest, then I'm gonna order a bunch more and start doing some really cool paint jobs and adding jewels and, and like jewelry hanging from the horns and all kinds of stuff. And I'm also going to start offering people custom paint jobs. So if you're watching this and you think these horns are cool and you want a custom paint job on a pair to match perfectly with your costume, then leave me a comment and I would love to do a commissioned pair for you. So let's get sanding and painting. So this is mostly actually really smooth. The only places that need to be sanded are right here where it'll attach to the head and this line along the bottom edge of the horn where it had a support structure in it as it printed. So I'm not gonna worry about sanding this part down too much because I'm going to be attaching it to a headband and it won't be touching your head. So I'm just gonna get rid of any little loose pieces of printing material and then mostly focus on getting the horn curve itself sanded down. Here they are all sanded down nice and smooth and I'm just gonna go ahead and start by giving these a black base coat. In future I might use some lighter colors that I'll need the white underlayer for but I'm thinking I'm gonna do red and gold or silver for these set so black it is. These dried really nicely, so I'll go ahead and flip them over and give them their belly coat. They are looking really nice. I'm happy with them so far. I'm not painting the attachment points, those round sections where they'll lay against the head, partly because, well, they won't be visible, and partly because I don't want any possibility of the slicker painted surface interfering with the attachment to the headband later. Being the extremely intelligent person that I am, I just did that spray painting with the garage door closed. Now I'm lightheaded. dry looking awesome. Yes, I'm in the bathroom now because this is the only place where I could set up the camera to look at me looking in a mirror and it has good lighting. So I'm going to attach these horns now and I need the mirror because I'm actually going to glue them directly to my head. 
So this headband here, it's just a simple black fabric headband, is going to be the base for the horns. And then I'll go ahead and just glue them on. And I'm using the mirror so I can just look at them both and make sure that they're even. So I'm particularly happy with how these came out with the speckles of silver. But anyway, glue gun time. placing horns right around my temples with this nice backward sweep so they're not just kind of sticking out of your head. Same thing that I talked about in the previous horn video when I was using the um, repurposed Halloween ones from Walmart. So these are really light. That's what I'm noticing first here is that they're even lighter than the foam horns that I've used in the past which is amazing because one of the biggest issues with horns is getting them to hold still and not sag or droop under their own weight. So these actually are so lightweight that I probably don't even need much reinforcement to help hold them in place. The last horn video I did, you probably remember that I wrapped the bases of the horns in felt to help hold them in against my head. With these, I actually probably don't need to do that, which is going to be especially nice because there's this lovely little molded base around the horn here that I would hate to cover up. So we'll see how this goes just with the glue. This is, of course, just a trial run, so we'll see how it does. It seems really sturdy. It's not moving at all. It's not wiggling. It's not sagging. So that's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and attach the other one and then probably just kind of wheel in a little bit of glue around the edge to help touch it up and add some extra stability. Running up glue. Well, I just dashed down the hallway to acquire a fresh stick of glue from my glue gun. And this horn here, even though it was only freshly glued and the glue was still warm and a little bit soft, it didn't uh, it didn't wobble or um, sag at all. As you can see, there's still these edges right along here where it's not entirely adhered to the headband. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more glue right along those edges and then overlapping up over the base of the horn just to go ahead and give it an extra secure connection point. Now that I have them all glued down nicely, I'm gonna come back in with some glossy black acrylic paint just to cover up these glue sections. I don't wanna use the same spray paint that I used originally because I don't want it to get into the cloth and stiffen up the cloth too much. So just a touch of this glossy black to match the spray paint as well as possible, and that should blend this right in. Here's the finished product. I am absolutely thrilled with how these turned out. They are looking so nice. I love the red. I might have to make more red pair, see if I do a completely red one at some point. Nice and evil and devilish. I'll show you the other one here in a second. Here's the silver pair. And that is sharp if I do say so myself. I still really love the speckled designs that I got onto there with the spray paint. I'll definitely have to experiment a little bit more with that look. So in any case, uh, stick around if you want to see me make more horns and other cosplay stuff now that I found these 3D printers and their prices are really good. I can pretty well guarantee that I'm going to be ordering all kinds of cool stuff from them and painting it up and either using it in my cosplays or selling it at events. So subscribe, stick around, comment if you'd like to see anything specific or any uh, different colors or designs on the horns. and. I'll see you around. Until next time, fairly well.